you don't gonna act like you know Straight facts, I'm a cat on the phone, stay passing you clones My dad been shown, I'm bad to the bone And that's what these rappers don't leave me alone Like, oh, bro, I've been killing this shit for a minute I'm in it to win it, I'm sick of the gimmicks These bitches are spitting, I'm ripping it Bitches with every lyric, I'm off Point C, anoint me, this joint B So ill, not no damn tricks So ill, my semantics are like, yo Dad better listen up, turn the system up All these other labels on some different stuff Never pictured us on the forefront, but we know Motherfuckers need a check, better show respect Better throw your sets up in the sky Stepped on me, but why? Zyta's a brand, can I do it? Bet you I can Got a flu and best be off gas Showing crew and best be on plans, I'm the man We got that bomb, baby We on that bomb, baby When there's some man ticks through the damn thing It's so amazing, get your hands up, hands up, hands up high Get him up to the sky, put him up, put him up, back like you know, no, we bad to the bone We got that bomb, baby, we on that bomb, baby, we nail semantics, do the damn thing It's so amazing, so get your hands up, hands up, hands up high Get him up to the sky, put him up, put him up, back like you know, no, we bad to the bone Ain't nobody better than me, I'm bad to the bone, to the point I'm so sick Three, the legal, today we're gonna do something a bit different Um, actually it's not different, it's a bit simpler Um, hopefully you enjoy the beef Wellington no more requests like that, no old school stuff, just give me some new school stuff, that's all I want. Um, but today we're just going to do something um, light, fairly healthy, um, and you can, you know, make your own versions of it. There's, there's no guidelines or strict rules, and it's a seafood salad, basically, um, or a warm seafood salad. Today we're using salmon, turkey, um, we have some prawns there, and we have a whole bunch of vegetables, and we're going to also some cockles. Cool. And I'm just going to prep the uh, aubergine and the vegetables, get the, the veggies out of the way, get that cooked off, and then resting, and then we can focus on the seafood. So all we want to do is slice the eggplant or the aubergine. We're going to salt them and put them on a, um, on, a, on, a, on a plate and let them sit because what happens is salt uh, extracts, the, uh, extracts the moisture out of it. Um, and it's really easy to do. And then when we go to fry it off or grill it off, uh, gr grill it off. Sorry about the freshness. Um, grill it off. Um, we'll be ready to go. So all we're gonna do is grab some salt on there. Just prep the vegetables and now we're just going to cook them off. I've got a pot of hot boiling water. I've got a pan on to um, sear off or cook off my um, or grill off or whatever you want to call it off um, the vegetables. And basically, make sure it's nice and piping hot, boiling. And I've got a pan on, hot oil, season my pan as I normally do. And all I'm going to do is place my eggplant in there. Right now we're going to prep the fish, get my salmon, and all I'm going to do, I'll just move that out of the way. And all I want to do, because we're going to feed a uh, family of four tonight, so um, this is an uh, $11 piece of uh, salmon. No bones in it. If it has pin bone it, I'm just going to portion it like so. Again, this even portions, because you want it to cook evenly, so the more even the portion, the easier it is to cook. And I'm going to get my um, turkey again. 
fish is quite temperamental, so take it easy. I want sort of bite-sized pieces or portion size. Um, so that's what I'm going to do with that. And I'll do the same here. So when we put it through our salad, we'll do all sweet ads. Done. Right now, we're going to get ready to uh, cook off the, the fish. What I'm going to use is something else from Tia Pablo. I've been getting a lot of their um, ingredients um, or stuff that they've, that they've been bringing out. This is a citrus salt um, and it goes real well with seafood. So um, give, it a, give it a go. It's in, um, you can get it in Pack and Save, uh, New World or pretty much all supermarkets. Just nice little sprinkle. Nice hot pan. As you see, we've seasoned our fish. And all we need to do, get the salmon, get the biggest portions or the denser fish in first because they take the longest to cook. And basically just place it in like that. Again, when you're putting in fish or any type of meat, uh, food into a hot pan, always away from you. Away from you. Thank me later. And at the same time, I've got two pans on so you can multitask it. And um, get that nice and hot as well. And I have some the cockles here. And I have my other pot with a lid. And all I'm going to do now, put that in there and let it steam. Mm, I can smell that citrus salt from Tia Pablo. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. And look at the um, the thinner the pieces are, going to cook obviously faster. So you know, it's a bit of common sense. So we'll take those smaller part, uh, pieces of fish off first. And then we'll put uh, cook off the rest of the fish. So that's like roughly 30 seconds off from being ready. But once we take it off, it's going to rest for a little while. And by that time, we'll be perfectly cooked. These ones will take a bit longer. And I'm going to take off these end pieces now. I'm going to place it over here next to my vegetables. And while that's happening, I'm shaking this pan here. Steaming these cockles. And I'm gonna crack some pepper onto the to this, to this here. And I'm gonna paste it on as well. Now this won't take long at all. Pretty much roughly two minutes away from serving or plating up. Right now, the cockles are done. So we're gonna take that off the heat and more that's happening, we're going to flip over our fish as well. Look at that, beautiful. Oops. Again, fish is temperamental. Cherokee's got a flaky temperamental fish as well. So, hot pan and quick cooking. That's pretty much ready. Now we're using the same pan, frying off the, the rest of the, the prawns. And these are just frozen, cheap prawns from, um, from the supermarket. Frozen, and we're just going to cook them off just to give it another texture. And you don't need to do this, but I do, um, purely just for crunch and different texture. But I got some lemon pepper bites from um, from Sumac as well, from Sea Lord. Um, if you've got time, you can crumb your own fish. But, you know, this isn't three bucks, four bucks. Actually, it's seven bucks from Pick and Save. Um, and, you know, just bring it out of the freezer when you need. And only you need a couple couple of these. And all you do is get from. So your salad has a bit of crunch. Again, if you're health conscious, you can put this in the oven and you can oven bake it as well. But my son loves this. Full fat. And that should take roughly about a minute, minute and a half to cook. Now, all you need to do is pretty much plate it up. I have my bowl of salad here ready to rock and roll. I have also um, my choice of dressing, which is basically just a Japanese style dressing. But I also have something from Tia Pablo, which is um, quite a special sort of a salsa mix that you can get. But have a look at that. Try that out when you're in your supermarket next. It's at um, Countdown and whatnot. It's all there. But basically, let's plate it up. But what I'm going to do first is dress. My salad, 
Boom. And I'm just going to place it on a plate like that. That's nice and cheap. Again, it would have been nice to have some avocado on this, but I couldn't find any. All sold out. Long weekend. Boom. Arranged the beautiful stem cockles around like so. Quite decorative. Salty as well. Beautiful. And drizzle a bit of the sauce over as well. That's happening. Place your, your prawns neatly around as well. Smother that around. Asparagus, arrange your asparagus nicely. Keep it rustic. Broccoli, boom. Nice. Don't forget your eggplant in the middle there. You'll find that nice piece of salmon. Place it right on the top there. There you go. A couple of pieces of turkey. A couple of pieces of turkey here. This beautiful red Mexican sauce over. Just place it over. There's a bit of fusion going on here. You got a little bit of Mexican, you got a little bit of Japanese, but the flavors, I, I, I guarantee you, you can't go wrong. Beautiful flavors. I'm telling you, this is the this is the summer summer salad, no doubt. And there you have it. Pretty much, pretty much there. All I'm gonna do is add my fish, to, crispy fish to the top there. Boom. And if you want to, you don't need this, but I do, just because I'm about that life. But the Japanese mayo over the top, because you can't go wrong. Again, if you're um, a healthy bugger, leave it off. Taste the legal, warm seafood salad. Enjoy.